What's up guys and welcome back to another fantastic vlog. Today we officially checked into Lazy Days RV Resort over here and they have a ton of stuff to do and see. This is a pretty big place so tonight they actually have their own restaurant right here on site so we're gonna go walk over because Sam is making, she wants to kill me, she wants to make me walk no, so no, no, we are gonna walk. I'm wearing walk. a dress and I don't feel like changing just to ride the bike. <gasps> <laughs> So we're going to go walk over there and they have some really good food on the menu and we're going to go eat and explore the campground a little bit. So let's go. Oh yeah. next day we're getting ready to go to the RV show I just wanted to quickly touch up on what happened last night we went to the restaurant it's called exit 10 that's at the campground we were excited to go because it's within walking distance and take the bike is nice out so we sat down at 5 she didn't come by till like 5 15 5 20 with the um, menus and it's not a big menu I we read reviews and they cut it down a lot then around 5.45, we got our drinks, we ordered. We got our appetizers probably 20 minutes later. And then after that, I don't know what happened. I asked for a refill, I didn't get it. She hasn't came to our table once after we ate the mozzarella sticks. Um, it was around like 6.45 at that time. We were there for over two hours waiting for a steak quesadilla and a burger. We heard her talking to the person next to us, telling them that the cooks burned their pizza and that they had to remake a new one. Um, that pissed us off because we were there way before they were there. And I'm like, why is she talking about their meal when we didn't even get ours yet? So, yeah. So I don't recommend going there. If you do want to eat their food, just ask it to, for a delivery or for takeout. But I, it just flopped sitting there. It was really a waste of time. We made it. We are officially here. And we were about to pay for parking and the guy said, don't worry about it. And he just waved us through. We took the Grom, so I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But uh, apparently, either being a YouTuber is great and we get in for free, or just riding a motorcycle gets you certain perks here. So <laughs> we're going to go check in and head on in and see what they got.
Talk about a crap ton of RVs. <laughs> um, I put a deposit on five of them, and uh, we're gonna pick them up sometime next week, you know. Whenever, whenever we're ready, right? They had some really nice ones. I was in love with the off-road ones. There was a really nice, like a, it was on an F550 chassis. It had a, like a whole off-road uh, off package. It's awesome looking. There was one that we went into that was absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I videoed it, but the salesman was just like waiting. Yeah. So it just like intimidated us about filming inside. I don't, can't remember if it was a travel trailer or a fifth. It was a destination trailer. Oh, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was a park model, but it, it actually wasn't that bad of a price for the size and like the beauty of this thing. It was really nice. I think it was like 66000 How long were we here for? I don't know what time we it's got too here. long, I'm tired. So I think around 12 we got here. It's 1.36 now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did a lot of walking. We went inside a lot of RVs. The issue is there's so many people, and a lot of the people sit in the RVs, and they're just sitting around. And, like they live in it. And there's no air conditioning or anything, so you kind of like, after a while, you're just like, all right, well, if you're not like seriously looking to buy an RV, then it's just, uh, you know, you don't spend as much time there, I guess. I don't know. It's something to do for the day, I guess. Rattling house. It was only across the street from the Tampa show, so we've been here before a lot when we first moved down here. But I didn't know the waitress was dressed like this. <laughs> it's freaking awesome! Look, oh, Sam can work here too. Ha <laughs> like to ha! Yes, we got some wraps and some curly fries, some cold beer. Oh, and Sam. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> Take your time, the food's still gonna be there. I'm not gonna steal it. We just got home. It was a really long drive. It's like 10 minutes. If you're interested in going to the show, Lazy Days RVs is legit like 11 minutes, two exits or one exit away off the highway. Um, we, I went into the office because I noticed that the paper that they give you to like your parking pass that I'm checking out tomorrow, but I'm actually checking out the day after that but this site is already reserved for somebody else, which is freaking annoying. So I have to wait at 11 to see if my site's available yet. And if it is, I could just transfer over there. If not, I have to sit in the front where there's RV parking and wait till that person leaves. But I mean, checkout's at 11. Leave at 11! <laughs> But I understand stuff happens, you fall behind a little bit. As you can see, Sam is a little worked up about our because checking I... out uh, situation. But it's not a big deal. We'll get it taken care of tomorrow. Just You just <laughs> hold on there, okay? Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a pro tip. Um, unless you're like balling and you don't care about money or whatever. I personally, if I had to do this um, RV show all over again, I would bring, we brought one drink, but it really wasn't enough, especially if you're gonna stay there for hours and walk yeah. around and well, see everything. Well, I was everything. gonna get a drink. I know there's food there. So I was, we right. were under the impression we were just gonna get food there. Right. So we saw the prices. And it smelled really good and everything. Uh, and we were about to jump online. And then we started looking at prices and it was like $16 just for a chicken wrap per person. That doesn't include <laughs> drinks or anything. And, and then you gotta find somewhere to sit. There was nowhere to sit. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was with that. They had, Inside, they had a whole bunch of seating area, but where the food trucks are and the seating inside were not near each other. Yeah, so we just passed on it and ended up like we should. Well, you guys. we were gonna get a pizza because it smelled really good. It smelled like New York pizza. Yeah. But six dollars a slice. Yeah. And the slices are like regular slices, so realistically, we both eat like two or three slices. I know we're fat. I don't care, but that's gonna add up. So that's why I went to Wing House instead because we got a whole meal with an appetizer for the. For around 40 bucks if yeah. we were to eat at the place it would have been 40 bucks just for a four slice of pizza yeah well <laughs> not really but okay but um, <laughs> the drink and everything my mom Anyway, um, so yeah, so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on all their food, just a pro tip, just maybe either bring like a sandwich or uh, pick something up on the way or bring, and definitely bring your own drinks because you're going to need them. And um, I have a hard time walking, so like my back starts hurting. So if you have that issue too, there's not a lot of spots to sit. So just keep that in mind. They do have electric scooters that you can sit on, but the rent, I mean, but the issue is, is that I have to get in it up and down out of the scooter to go up and down the RV that it'll just hurt my back even more at that point. So just keep that in mind. If you have a hard time walking, like bring a foldable stool or chair or something because it's not a lot of spots to sit. Or just don't go. Look at them online. It's the same thing. <laughs> um, the only thing that's really nice about the RV Super Show is the prices are like drastically lower yeah. compared to like what you'd go find in a dealership. So, and I even looked online because at first I thought it was maybe a gimmick, but 
like an, let's say an RV that's originally like 110,000 at a dealership uh, would be like 90 here. So that's a steep price drop. The only thing I didn't like, which actually drove me quite a bit nuts, even though it's not my personal problem, is the RVs that were sold there, like somebody bought an RV there, they're still having people go in and out of these RVs. And that would drive me nuts because you know people don't care if it's not theirs. They're gonna scratch it up, they're gonna open doors, they're gonna slam cabinets, they're gonna, and then you get all that foot traffic and all that germs, I just, ah. Uh. So that was definitely a downfall for me about um, buying it there. I just don't understand why they wouldn't close it up at that point and say, sorry, this one's sold. Yeah, because what happens if somebody walks in there now and break something. What happens now? I'm not gonna want it if they have to refinish something. I don't know. We also have TikTok. We are on TikTok and we're really blowing up on TikTok, so make sure you guys go follow us. We're all star. Like I I upload we upload more on there than in my Instagram. So I'm doing like little clips of people that are getting into RV living. So if that's you or even if it's not and you wanna learn a little more or see how we do things, head over there. But I did two videos, so I mean we have a whole bunch, but I did two videos of showing like just typical stuff and it skyrocketed the views and we got so many followers from it. So head on over there if you guys wanna see more videos of us. Yeah, I will throw the link right up top um, and then you guys can go just search it that way. You can actually type in that nomadic couple TikTok and I think it pops up, but just in case I'll put the link down below. That way you guys can go and follow us if you have a TikTok. If you don't, you should make one and follow us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to hang out here for a little bit, calm down, take a breather. And then later I'm going to bring our new awning out, which I'm so excited about. And we are going to have a little campfire with our Mesa solo stove. And what's nice too is we're doing Cracker Barrel for dinner tonight. And it's legit right around the corner, which is really nice. Yeah, like if I wasn't lazy, I probably could walk we there. We could walk there, but realistically we're not. Because we're going to finish around, we're going a little bit like when the sun's going down. Yeah. And I ain't walking that night. It's yeah. too cold for that. Yeah. All right, guys, we are going to put a close, an end a goodbye on this video. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. <laughs> Fare thy well. But not before burning some wood in our nice solo stove. I love this thing, guys. If you haven't gotten one, you totally should. I mean, look at the flame on that thing. It's like a foot tall. It's crazy. And look crazy. how small it is and compact. So yeah. if you don't have a lot of space and you live in an RV like us, this is perfect for you. Yep. So we're going to sit around this picnic table and enjoy some heat. Maybe go find some snacks in the RV. Who knows? <laughs> I got a whole bunch of chips. <laughs> and uh, just hang out for the night. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.